The rescue mediums are investigating this farm near the town of Mansfield. Where there seems to be as many spirits as there are acres. We've seen a few different spirits or shadows around the house. There's one, we saw it a few years ago, we had a car crash the next day. I opened the top of the basement door and there's just this thing that was pretty scary. We try and avoid looking in that direction because several times we've both seen a dark figure next to the window there. It feels evil. Hey! 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 <laughs> <laughs> The rescue mediums are on their hay to help. This is where we're going to end up. Mm. Jackie and Allison are renowned psychic mediums who spend their days and nights showing wayward spirits into the light. I wonder if we'll ever get there. Allison, if we ever get there, it'll be amazing. Oh, another corny joke. The rescue mediums have been given no prior knowledge of their destination. Even the name of the town has been kept secret until now. Although days earlier, they had some eerie premonitions. Electrical items not working properly. A trick of light. The electrics. Yeah. Yes. Whenever we talk about what we've seen, light bulbs tend to blow up in the house. A shadowy figure that's been seen. We see a dark shadow at the end of the hallway upstairs. I always feel like something's coming out of the room and following me. Changes in atmosphere, particularly in an upstairs area. Yes. You've got something similar. Yes. Right, OK. This room, um, it sort of gives me the creeps. I always feel when I walk into this room that there's somebody here. A sense of what's to come is Ooh. this one, a sense of what's to come. In addition to their premonitions, the rescue mediums have created these psychic drawings of what they expect to find during their investigation. These, I'm not sure what they are. I don't know if it's some sort of rug or carpet with that pattern on. And this it looks like two butterflies stuck together. Transformation, maybe, I don't know. There's some really good clues there. If that dark shape is, you know, some unhappy spirit, hopefully they can help it find its way home. We're here! Hurrah! Jackie and Alison are the rescue mediums. Psychics who make house calls. <laughs> I'm going. Hello. 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 Hi. Hi, I'm Alison. Hi, Heather. Nice to meet you. Hey, hi, Pleased to meet you both. Nice to meet you. Would you like to come on in this way and yeah. oh, sit down? Thank you. In the homeowner's living room, the rescue mediums prepare to present their premonition. Jackie and I are going to take it in turns to read our premonitions out to you. All right. All right. A shadowy figure that's been seen. Yes. Changes in atmosphere in an upstairs area. Definitely. Oh, yeah. Yeah. OK. A face seen at a window. Yes. <laughs> Feelings of being touched by unseen hands. Oh, uh, definitely. Yes. William, Willie, Bill. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hearing cries and shouts. Definitely, yes. yes. Right. This one is uh, very gentle with her. Yeah, very, I like her. Very gentle. Can I just ask something? Do you ever feel like a cold round you? It feels like somebody's standing behind you. Oh, yeah. yeah, like someone's because behind Because I'm getting that shoulder. now. Feels like somebody's standing behind me. Well, that means that we're being... Mm. Watched. Yes. We're being yeah. watched. Coming up. Oh, no. It's stabbing pain. A dark spirit with a tragic past overtakes the rescue medium. I think it's a death rattle. The mediums are investigating this farm near the town of Mansfield, where the homeowners have felt something dark, disturbing and inexplicable. Feels evil. The rescue mediums begin their investigation by exploring the property's seemingly tranquil acreage. This is lovely. Isn't it beautiful? 
and there's even a little... Oh, yeah. And the butterflies. It's just, it's Id idyllic, isn't it? Uh-huh. And the welcoming committee, too. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Falling for you. Oh. Another butterfly. Yeah, did you see Round that? me, yes. Could these butterflies be a manifestation of Alison's psychic drawings? I'm very drawn to that tree. A radiance of psychic energy pulls Jackie to this tree. Isn't it gorgeous? It is, isn't it? I just got someone digging. I can see someone digging sort of really hard and they're going down quite deep. Oh. I wonder what that's all about. I don't know. Continuing their investigation, the rescue mediums are drawn to this stand of trees quite near the house. <laughs> just sort of vision then of children running around and playing and laughing. Let's go and have a look inside. What is the significance of these visions? Sort of Seeking answers, Jackie and Alison return to the residence. They are quickly drawn to the stone wall cellar. Oh. Have you had a sense sort of that Outside and sort of coming down here, that we're not alone. I just see somebody in there. A troubled male presence is felt. It's, it's like a shadow. The troubled spirit flees. A psychic pursuit begins. Jackie, come here. I've got a pain in my leg, Jackie. Have you? Yeah. It's sort of stabbing pains. Oh. I've got to drag it. Ooh. Let's go and have a look. I feel a bit off balance going up here, to be quite honest with you. Still hunting the troubled male spirit, the rescue mediums continue their investigation on the main floor of the home. Ooh. I can feel something behind me. Yeah. Yes, I think we have me. somebody walking around with us. Male or female? I felt female. Yeah. The brooding female spirit follows the rescue mediums. This is different, isn't it? That pain, and it's in this leg now. What is that? Is this with her, I wonder, or is this with somebody else? I don't know. I'm glad you're getting all the pain oh. tonight, me. I've just seen a shape. Is it one or is it two? I saw, well, I saw one there, but it was a shape that moved quickly. Jackie and Alison follow the strange energy to the top of the stairs. God, my heart's beating really I fast. feel really sick, to be honest. Ooh. I feel really sickly. This feels different. There's something wrong with my windpipe. Jackie is overtaken by a psychic signal. I can hear a wheezing. I think it's a death rattle. Oh, my God. <coughs> um, I mean... Oh. Coming up. That's what you've drawn. A premonition made manifest leads the rescue mediums to a most disturbing presence. I 
can't feel anything. Within this century-old farmhouse, the rescue mediums have encountered many spirits, but most strongly felt have been a brooding female spirit and a troubled male presence. There's something wrong with my windpipe. While investigating the home's master bedroom, Jackie had been overtaken by a psychic malaise. I think it's a death rattle. <laughs> Symptoms when I walked here, I breathed in. It's like I was hearing somebody else breathe. Right. But it was like a death rattle. You know what I mean? Right at right at the end before you go over. Oh God! You've got that sound. There's a draft here. We're it's going, going out to right. where to? Pulled by gusts of psychic wind. The rescue mediums are drawn to the end of the hallway. Right. I've got an image of a man but chopping logs. Mm. I feel really odd in it. That's what you've drawn. That's what it is, look. I don't know if it's some sort of rug or carpet with that pattern on. The designs in this carpet are eerily similar to Alison's psychic drawings. I always feel when I walk into this room that there's somebody here. Sensing that the room holds advanced importance, the rescue mediums prepare to focus their powers. I can see a woman in a garden picking flowers. I can hear what sounds like children laughing. I can see snow. It's gone pink. Somebody bleeding over the snow. I've got the name Sarah. Robert. I think there's something wrong with the side of my mouth. Had William before. I could see a lady in her bed. And the man's there that was chopping the wood. Right, so they're together. He's there as well. Okay. He's not actually talking to me. There is memories I'm linking into. Jackie's connection to the troubled spirit allows her access to his memories. The residue of a tragic life. Oh, no. Oh, no. I've got heart pains with right. it. Right, OK. Are you feeling dizzy? Yes. Or is it just... No, I'm feeling dizzy. Are we better sitting on the floor? I feel as though my legs won't move. I can't feel anything. See, I had pains in my legs. I was picking up on maybe her, I don't know. Jackie and Alison prepare to establish immediate contact with the troubled male spirit. Oh, my goodness, he's just sat down on the chair. You see, you can't make me. We can't make him. No. If he doesn't want to go, That's true. we can't make him. The spirit seems to fear the light. Ow. Oh, that, it's there again. It's like it's, it's past pain. him. Could we draw on something that he absolutely loved? Get him to look at the land. Have the butterflies dancing around yeah. and the it just beautiful needs that image. sunny day. Right, let's bring the image in. Mm. Seeking to calm the troubled spirit, the rescue mediums surround him with images from happier times. There's five people outside. And they're outside they're waiting. waiting for him. Five people. I can see a lady now. I'll get her to walk towards him. I can hear people laughing. 
is not in. The rescue begin. He's just gasped. <laughs> Going through now. That was flammable work, wasn't it? Yeah. Wow. Okay. I don't know. <sighs> Next. He was remembering things. The rescue mediums present their findings to the homeowner and compare it to independent research. They lost three of their children. The rescue mediums are investigating this historic farmhouse on the outskirts of Mansfield, where a troubled male spirit resisted the light. And only the manifestation of five other spirits going through now allowed the lady's success in their rescue. Jackie and Allison sit down with the homeowners to present the results of their investigation. So we're now going to tell you all about what we felt and how we dealt with it all. Okay. Okay. At the end room, that's where we saw a lot of the clues that we'd had on the premonitions or on the drawings. And we felt a male presence in there. We think he was remembering things mm -hmm. uh, from a, an earlier part of his life mm -hmm. and then later on in his life. Mm -hmm. We have a chap by the name of Robert McMaster. And in 1900, he moved here. Mm -hmm. And it was him who built this house. Uh -huh. On June the 22nd, 1866, Robert McMaster was born in Ireland. 15 years later, Robert emigrated to Canada where, at the age of 34, he built the home in which Heather and Keith currently reside. He married a local girl by the name of Margaret, mm -hmm. Margaret Brown. Now, he married her in March of 1890. We think this is Margaret. Yes, mm -hmm. we do. We think that's Margaret. Robert and Margaret McMaster worked this land and together raised nine children. However, their initial happiness was laid in waste by a series of great tragedies. Three of their children died in December 1898 of diphtheria, all within days of each other. There's something wrong with my windpipe. I think it's a death rattle. In the winter of 1898, three of the McMaster children succumbed to diphtheria, a disease which ravages the respiratory system. The children aged three, five, and six, all died within five days of each other. They lost three of their children. In a week. Within a week. Yeah, that's so sad. Bearing in mind, it's the 1st of December. Mm. The snow is on the ground. The ground is too hard Frozen. to bury the bodies. The bodies were buried in snow. Oh, wow. I can see snow and the names of Robert and Sarah. Robert is his name, uh -huh. and Sarah is the name of his mother. Uh -huh. But Robert is also the name of one of the children that died, and the other one is Sarah. I've got the name Sarah, Robert. I saw um, an old-fashioned bed, and a lady was sat up in bed, propped up with pillows, mm -hmm. but I felt as though she was confined in some way. She couldn't get out of the bed, she was just com confined. I said, oh, I can't move my legs. I couldn't move them. Yeah. I feel as though my legs won't move. Margaret took ill, and in her obituary, it says in failing health, <laughs> she had taken to her bed a week before she died, and she died in August of 1930. After the death of his wife, Robert would never remarry, choosing to live the rest of his life alone. However, he would be forced to survive one more tragedy. Robert was to suffer another devastating loss. Mm -hmm. His eldest son, William, um, died in June of 1932 of cancer of the jaw. Mm. I think there's something wrong with the side of his mouth, William. But what of the five spirits who came to assist in the rescue? At that point, he'd actually buried four of his children and his wife, the five people waiting outside the yes. door, one of which came in. Mm -hmm. That was his wife, the other were his four children that uh, he buried. 
Now, he died in 1947. Wow. He was 82 years old when he died. Mm -hmm. There's a uh, McMaster written on the barn over there. Oh, on the barn? It's stenciled on the... Uh, oh! oh the, that. The, so, the block we wall. Over to the barn. Good uh, detectives we are, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> Missed that. <laughs> Missed that. <laughs> OK. The rescue mediums bid farewell to the homeowners. Thank you very much. And take the opportunity for a more stable activity. Bye. Joey was so stubborn, wasn't he? He was a stubborn bugger, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. And she was really patient. She'd been waiting for him a long time. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Oh, Alison, aren't the horses lovely? They are absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. They're all so sad, though. Well, those horses don't look sad. Why do you think they look sad? Because they've all got a long face. Oh no. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>